Throughout my travels in Southern Africa, seeing animals in the wild is top on my list of things to do. Discovering them in their natural environment and understanding their behaviour is very important to me. How they live, reproduce, what they eat and the interaction between others of the same species. This series will hopefully be an informative field guide to many of the African species found in the wild. We will also be looking at the various books you can take with you on your own African safari. Hi, I'm Mike McNamara and I would like to welcome you to Wars Africa TV. Nyala are amongst the most striking of all antelope species. They exhibit the greatest diversity of appearance between the sexes, more than any other antelope species. The males known as bulls have a dark brown shaggy coat with up to 14 white vertical stripes on their back and white spots on their flank. Their horns are inward curving and approximately 65 centimetres long. They have a distinctive white horizontal stripe between their eyes and long hairs along the underparts from behind the chin to between the legs. There is also a mane of thick black hair with white highlights from the head, along the spine and to the rump. The lower legs are yellow and contrast greatly with its dark coat. Females, known as ewes, are much smaller and don't have horns. They weigh about 59 kilograms and stand at about 97 centimeters at the shoulders. They have a chestnut coloured coat with up to 18 prominent white stripes and also white spots on their flank. The stripes in both sexes act as camouflage, breaking up the solid outline 
and help them blend into the habitat. They breed throughout the year, but mating peaks in autumn and spring. Calves are born after a gestation period of 220 days and use conceived between 14 and 18 months old. The young male in Yala only take on the dark brown appearance of the mature bull from 14 months. Until then, they resemble the females. Mature bulls tend to be solitary, but will interact with female groups to check whether they are in estrus. Males are not territorial and are tolerant of each other provided there are no ewes in season. If this happens, the brilliant coat of the male is used as a visual dominant display, a passive method of determining superiority based on physical impressiveness. The winner supersedes the loser for access to the estrus ewes. The mane along the neck is raised enhancing the size of the animal and its white colour contrasts perfectly with the dark brown flanks and the yellow legs, which are lifted slowly in an exaggerated high step as the contestants parade around each other, head to tail. The tail is lifted over the rump to display the white underside and depending on the desired intensity, the horns are either lowered and poised to attack, which is high intensity, or held high, lowering the intensity. The animal that becomes first to be intimidated by his competitor's great stature will break off and display his submissiveness by lowering its crest and tail and commencing feeding or grooming. An equal match may lead to actual contact whereby the bulls will engage head to head and push each other, clashing horns, sometimes savagely. The Inyala inhabits dense woodland and thickets along permanent water and are found in most of the game reserves in southern Africa.